Hey, this is anti babble and <laughs> and that's my driveway. All right, um, <clears throat> just a little quickie here. Um, that's my generator. It's bolted down in there. Um, it's a uh, Coleman PowerMate Pro Gen 5000. So I got I thought I had 5500 watts, but I got 5000 watts. There's a 220 outlet on there, and here is my custom-made cord. This plugs into my Jenny, and this plugs into my 220 outlet for my service circuit that I installed, which is right here. It's all code. It's all it's all built uh, installed according to the electrical code. But you can see that's drilled right through the uh, when I did my masonry. I, there you go. It goes right through the concrete there. But it's the same circuit that I run my garage off of. But see what would happen is if the power went out, uh, I could just come down into my basement. Sorry about the fast movement. All I would do is I would disconnect my house from the main power grid. So effectively disconnecting my house from the power grid. Uh, on a circuit breaker panel, there's probably there's a couple mains up here. That's what you want to look for, the main circuit breakers. Then I would turn off. I would turn off my dedicated circuit uh, that runs out to my garage and, and to the uh, service outlet out in the driveway. So now that both of these have been turned off, the service circuit has been separated from the panel, and the panel has been separated from the main power grid, I would go outside. Of course, this is with the flashlight. This is with the flashlight that I have, my LED one watt flashlight. I would come out here and I would plug my uh, plug my cord into my service outlet, plug the other end into my generator, fire up the generator, and let it run for just a little bit. And uh, then, now that the generator has is plugged into the service outlet, but the service outlet, remember, has been disconnected from the panel, right? So I would go down here, and everything's still dark, right? But I have my little flashlight. So the uh, generator is outside running. It's connected to this on the outside. Then all I gotta do is pop, turn that on, and boom, electricity comes in through here. It comes into the house instead of going out. <laughs> comes in here and it comes into the main panel and it goes all throughout, all throughout the house. And then when I notice that my neighbor's power has come back on, all I got to do is all of the steps in reverse. I turn this off, disconnecting the generator, effectively disconnecting the generator from the main power grid. And then I go outside, unplug the generator, turn the generator off, and then come back in and turn the, turn the main power back on and connect the house back up to the grid, and I'm good to go. That's how it works at my house.